Hello, New Hope. I hope you're doing well today, and I hope you're thankful. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to uh, the church at Colossae, in chapter 3, verse 15, said, Be ye thankful. Verse 17, giving thanks. And in the next chapter, in verse 2, pray with thanksgiving. And all through the Bible, Old Testament and New, we are reminded to be thankful people. And as soon as we hear that challenge, some want to protest. They want to go on record with their situation. They want to find a loophole to get off the hook. But the Apostle Paul doesn't allow us to play that game. No, the record of his life silences any would-be excuse-making in our lives. I suspect no one suffered more for the gospel than did Paul, and yet no one spoke more about being thankful than he did. Why, Thanksgiving is so powerfully transformative, even the world has understood the value of it. It's a highly recommended prescription for one's mental health. So let me ask you, are you thankful today? There may be a crisis around us, but let's not let that cause one within us. Do thankful thoughts fill your heart and cheer your heart as well? I'd like to go on record and say that I am so thankful today for so many things. I am thankful that I had a grandmother who prayed for me and told me about God and Jesus and heaven. I'm thankful that I have a wife who has not left me yet. It'll be 52 years in August. I'm thankful that I have two children, a son and a daughter, and a grandchild with beautiful red hair, and the best time for us is family time. I'm thankful that I've had the privilege of preaching the gospel for over 50 years. It may not have always been the best, but I always gave it my best. I am thankful that, I, uh, that this southern boy discovered Iowa a long time ago, and they've let me in twice. I'm thankful that God directed our steps to Des Moines and to New Hope. I'm thankful for the wonderful staff I've been able to work with. Each one of them is as sincere as they can be. I'm thankful for the people I've met. Well, most of them. I'm thankful for the places I've been. Most of them. I'm thankful for friends, for every kindness, every hug and handshake, every gesture of goodwill and every word of encouragement. I'm thankful that I have lived in America and have been brought to the kingdom for such a time as this. I'm thankful that I played sports, and now the beat-up old athlete has found music to be an important part of his life. I'm thankful for the Lord's Church, for pastors and teachers and missionaries and the people of the church without whom there could be no church. I'm thankful for the peace of God and the joy of the Lord and the hope of heaven. I'm thankful that when I was 17 years old, God reached down, tapped me on the shoulder, and called my name. I'm thankful that the Lord saved me and set me free. Now, what's on your list? 